Watch well, you guys got another video on how to fix problems with your Windows 11 updates and how to uninstall updates and how to find out whether there was a known issue with that Windows 11 update. Now you can use this method also on Windows 10 as well. So first off, what we're going to do here is go to the Windows updates panel. So just going to open this up right here. And right inside here, this is where all of your Windows update information will be. So first off, let's go to update history. So we're going to click on this one here and this will open up this little panel here. And you can see the quality updates are listed right here. We've got definition updates listed right there and we've got other updates listed down here. So what you'll notice here on the quality updates and the definition updates here. So let's click on this one here. Let's assume that you're having an issue with the latest update. You've downloaded it and now something is not working on your PC. Maybe it's a piece of hardware that's not working correctly, or maybe it was something to do with some uh, Windows feature that is now not working correctly because you've downloaded a update, which is having an issue. What you can do here is click on this learn more. So we're going to click on learn more here. This will then take us to the internet and open up a web page and it will give us information. So we're going to go ahead and click on always for Google Chrome and this will open up this window here. And here we have the actual window open. Now you can see we've got the KB4023057 and this will give us information about the update. It will give you some of this summary. It says it supports Windows 10 and Windows 11 here. And you can go through and it will give you a, a full breakdown of exactly what you've just downloaded and installed on your computer. And this can be helpful when you're troubleshooting an issue. Maybe your issue will be noted here and it will tell you under the known issue section, which isn't on this page, but I'll show you another one in a second. But you can see it'll show you the location of installation. It'll also show you uh, it's running as an, uh, an active service here and it will give you information about how you can open the firewall settings here to help it work correctly. So let's take a look at another update here and you can see it's given us some information like highlights and it will tell you exactly uh, what this feature update has given us security. Also, it's given us a bunch of other security features and you can see new here and it will give you all of the location where these settings are. Another thing is narrator and emojis, backup and restore, window share, file explorer. These have all been added in and you can see it will give you all the information about what this update has done to your computer. So it's quite useful if you're having an issue in a certain location, you can have a look here to see whether that was due to the update that they've just rolled out. Improvements, you can see here by looking at the drop down, it will give you some of the improvements. You can see this build includes all the improvements for Windows 11 version 22 H2. No additional issues are documented for this particular release. And you can go through and check here. Now there is a known issue area here, which is quite useful, which will give us all of the known issues for this particular update. So if you had no problem with your computer before you rolled out this update, you can come to this page here by clicking on that more info and it will give you the more info about this and give you the known issues for this particular update. And it may tie in with something that you're having a problem with on your computer. And it might be listed here, which will give you a bit of a, uh, an inkling of what the workaround is to fix and resolve this problem or maybe uninstall the update altogether if it's a known issue and you can un uninstall it and put a pause on that update. And this will all be listed inside the Windows updates update history and you can see learn more you can click on this and it will give you all the information about each individual update now if you want to uninstall an update you can do you can get the number that you want to uninstall and find it on the uninstaller program and it should be listed in there and you can uninstall it so you can go to the start button here and then type in here control panel and go to control panel and you'll be able to remove it from there so let me quickly show you uh, where we can remove this. So we're going to go over to control panel here, click on uh, programs and you can see uninstall a program here. Then we want to go up to the top here where it says view installed updates and choose the update that you want to uninstall and just uninstall it that simple. 
and that's done and restart your PC. Now, again, remember, if you are uninstalling a Windows update, it's important that you obviously don't go back in and start to do Windows updates again because it will pull it straight back down and install it back on the system and you'll end up with the same known issue. So you definitely don't want to be doing uh, a reinstall of that update straight away. So you may need to pause updates until Microsoft uh, work out a fix for that particular update before you go ahead. And you can do that right here. There's a pause update. You can see it wants to come down. I can hit pause right here. And there's a pause right here to stop that from coming down. And you can pause your updates right here. So let's go ahead and just quickly uh, pause these updates so you can see how it works. So go over to this area and you can pause for one week, two weeks, and so on there by choosing whatever you like. And then once that's done, you can change this to as long as you like. So we can do two weeks here. And you can see up until the 31st of the first 2024 is going to be paused. And that will pause the update and stop it coming back down until Microsoft release uh, a fix for it. Now, sometimes Microsoft will pull the update if it's uh, causing major problems and they will stop it coming down or being pushed out to people. But unfortunately, some people do like to update straight away. And I've always been advising people never to update Windows directly straight away. You want to wait a little while, wait a few weeks and give it time to make sure there's no known issues or bugs because it's only going to make your system unstable. And Microsoft are known for releasing updates that are full of bugs and uh, it's best to wait. Now to resume your updates, you can click on the resume button and this will then start to resume all of your Windows updates the normal way. You can see here, get the latest updates as soon as they're released. This is going to push updates out to you first. And if you have that radio button toggled on, it's going to push all of the uh, updates to you first. And this means that you'll be first in the queue. And I really wouldn't uh, do that straight away. I would always wait a few more weeks. So again, that's how you can troubleshoot your Windows updates. And this is a really good way to find out all the information about the update that you've just received or an update that you may have received a week ago and now you're having issues. And Microsoft are known for releasing updates way too early before they've been tested and you can end up with major problems on your PC. No PC is the same. Everyone will have different issues and some people may not have issues whatsoever. So it just depends from computer to computer. Now, there is a difference between feature updates and security updates. And uh, security updates are essential, but there can be bugs in some security updates. You don't have to get security updates immediately as soon as they are released. You're not going to be hacked if you don't get the latest update within the first minutes of it being released by Microsoft. But if you just get it a few weeks later, you'll be perfectly fine. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. That's how you can troubleshoot and fix problems with your Windows 11 updates. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really appreciate the support. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.